Greetings! In this video, you will learn about alphanumeric LCDs. You will see how they work, how to program them, you will see 8-bit and 4-bit modes of a 2x16 alphanumeric LCD. And finally, you will see a simple project in CodeVision and Proteus in which some text will be displayed on a 2x16 LCD with the help of ALCD.h library. An LCD, which stands for Liquid Crystal Display, have a background light which passes through crystal through liquid crystal. Besides, liquid crystal's molecules arrangement changes in an electrical field. So by applying different voltages and changing the arrangement of molecules of liquid crystal, what will be shown on LCD can be controlled. A 2x16 LCD shows 32 characters. Each row contains 16 characters. Each character field is a 5x10 or 5x8 or 5x7 matrix of pixels. For showing a character, some of these pixels are on and other pixels are off. If you look at this picture, you will figure out how characters like A, B and C are built from pixels of these matrices. For making characters, each row should be represented or programmed in ones and zeros. So for showing a character, we have to send eight bytes of data. In fact, for every row, every row of the character field, we have to send a byte. But we don't do that because LCDs controllers do that for us. Every LCD contains instruction and data registers. Instruction register receives and keeps LCD instructions like screen clear to be executed by its controller. And data register receives the data that will be displayed on the LCD. Here you can see a 2x16 LCD module with its pins. And this, paper, uh, this table summarizes a 2x16 LCD pins. Please pause the video and read it carefully. E or enable pin of LCD is negative edge triggered and reads from pins D0 to D7 and when it is instruction it will be executed and when it's data it will be displayed on the LCD. And the LCDs have two memories or RAMs, DDRAM, DDRAM which stands for display data RAM is used for keeping data required for showing ASCII codes on pixel matrices and CGRAM which stands for character generator RAM enables having customized characters and when we want something to be displayed by LCD in fact we program the controller of it by sending instructions and setting and resetting ERWRS control or command pins for learning about the instructions, we have to read our LCD's controller's data sheet. In this, paper, in this table, you can see some of useful instructions of a 2x16 LCD that its controller is Hitachi HD44780. LCDs have two display modes, 8 and 4-bit modes. The first one's advantages or the 8-bit mode advantages are easier programming experience and faster display update and the 4-bit mode advantage is less, use of, is less use of microcontrollers limited number of pins in 8-bit mode for initialization of our LCD we, ha we have to send command code hexadecimal 38, 38 for specifying that we want to display on both of the rows, then we send instruction code hexadecimal 01 to clear the display and the RAM. Then we send instruction code hexadecimal 0E to turn on the cursor and display. And finally, we send hexadecimal of instruction code 80 to send the cursor to the first column of first row. But how do we send comments? For sending comments, we connect a port of our microcontroller to D0 to D7 pins of our LCD and 3 pins of other port of our microcontroller to RS or register select, RW, read write and E enable pins of our LCD. We put the comments code on the port connected to D0 to D7 pins and reset RS and RW and set E. Then after delay, we reset E 
because we know that E is negative sensitive. For for data display, we put the characters code on the port connected to D0 to D7 pins and we reset RW and set RS and E pins and after a while, after a delay, after a small delay, we reset E. And finally, 4-bit mode with the help of ALC the library is unbelievably easy. We do a kind of high-level programming, we don't care about anything. Uh, low, le low level with the help of this library. So let's display something on a 2 by 16 LCD with the help of alcd.h library. So we open code vision from file, we make a new project and we choose Atmega because we are going to use Atmega 8 as our microcontroller and always we are waiting here for a while. I don't know, maybe my spew is so week still waiting I hope that it will get ready soon yes it's here so we choose for chip at mega 8 and we select 8 megahertz as of clock frequency then we come here to alphanumeric LCD we enable alphanumeric LCD support so for controller type uh, we choose HD 44780 for characters per, per line we choose 16 because we have 16 columns then we choose port D for connecting to comment pins to RS, RD and enable then we connect these ports to the um, to the data pins of our LCD and we have to remember which uh, which pin of our ports are connected to the LCD port so RS is connected to D0 and D4 is connected to port to the uh, pin number 4 of our uh, port B so we go to program generate save and exit so we go here PRG LCD we save it LCD we save it LCD we save then we uh, our source code is prepared by the code vision ID so we don't have to configure anything so we delete while here and it's shown here that our LCD is initialized by this function so we go to slide and we want to clear our LCD LCD clear so with the help of puts LCD puts I'm going to print hello hello LCD here then we compile it no errors so let's build it we build it here so we come to produce we are going to pick our at mega 8 then we are going to choose the LCD and we have a LCD here so we put our microcontroller here and our LCD here we a little bit zoom in and we connected RS to D0 RS RS to D0 we connected RD to D1 RD to rd 2 d one and we connected E2 pin number 2 of port D and we have to connect with D2 with D2 
to voltage source and we ground it we ground the VSS and also we connect the VEE to voltage source and we remember that we used uh, that we connected D to B7 and we connected so we are going to select the hex file so we go to PRG to debug to exe and we select and we change our microcontrollers clock frequency to 8 because we need 8 megahertz in our source code and by clicking on run the simulation we can see yeah hello lcd is shown on the lcd but we want to do something more interesting here we want to we want to display we want our lcd to display uh, a string that is going to print each character out it by by delay so first of all we have to declare declare an global variable here for example on signed chat for example I want to display my surname it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven with the null at the end of string string so we have 12 characters and also we define the counter of our loop that we are going to use for this purpose so we need a four which starts from zero it goes to it goes to 13 and we plus plus our counter then we come here and lcd put char surname i and we are going to put a delay here for example for 100 milliseconds and note that we have to add the delay.h library here we have to include it at the top of our source code delay.h we are going to compile to see if there are any errors no errors so we build it so we are going to see its effect on our project and we are going to see what will be shown what will be displayed on our LCD yes you said and you see that it's displayed after the LCD after our first string first string is finished so we have to change the location of our cursor with the help of LCD LCD go to X Y X Y the first one shows the column so we are going to here uh, we are going to start from column 0 of row 1 so let's compile it no errors so let's build it and we have our hex file that can be executed by our microcontroller yes and it works for us so in this video you learned about alphanumeric LCDs and you learn how to show something on your alphanumeric uh, LCD 2x16 LCD uh, with the help of uh, a lcd.h library if you have any questions and comments please write for me in the comment section and thanks a lot for your time and attention